Have you ever wondered how someone starts as bad a habit as smoking? For starters, 93% of smokers start in their teens. The tobacco industry relies on youth experimentation for the next generation of smokers, and the pharmaceutical industry relies on smoking for future customers. Normal adolescent social development involves high levels of risk-taking, experimentation, and sensation-seeking, which means experimenting with adult taboos such as smoking, vaping, and alcohol. Making a smoker is really just a numbers game. Youth become addicted to cigarettes because they inhale the smoke. Cigarette smoke is so addictive that after just two cigarettes, over 10% of youth have trouble saying no to the next one. And after 100 cigarettes, just four or five packs, 94% of them have trouble saying no. The good news is, is that vaping has interrupted this cycle, so almost an entire generation of would-be smokers won't get smoking-related diseases. Yes, they inhale nicotine, but nicotine doesn't cause disease. But here's the catch. Health authorities and agencies that receive funds from the pharmaceutical industry are working very hard to take vaping out of the equation by shutting down the vaping industry through flavor bans and taxation. So youth that will be experimenting with inhaling nicotine will be left with two choices, black market vapes that don't have safety standards or the deadliest form of nicotine, smoking. Go to vaep.info for more info on vaping.